Hi, this is TJ with Piano Clubhouse going to show you I Will Sing by Donnie McClurkin. It is starts in the key of E flat. Um, before we get started right to the tutorial, let me give you about three or four chords that I'm going to use over and over and over again in this song. Um, jot them down, memorize them, pause it after you hear them, and get comfortable moving back and forth between these three, between these three or four chords. When I call out what chord it is, you should be able to go right to it. That will help you really fly through this song, and it will really simplify the song for you. Um, <clears throat> In the key of E flat, the first chord is going to be the one chord, which is E flat, F, G, and B flat. Okay, that's your E flat one chord. This is technically the one chord, and I'm adding the second, which is F. Um, so this is a one chord. Next is going to be the two, five, one, which is the second note, the fifth note, and the first note. And I actually, when I hit my 2-5-1, I like to, with my thumb, add the second note here. So this is my 2-5-1. <clears throat> now, let me show you something, just a side note here. If I invert this 2-5-1 and bring this E-flat back to the bottom, look, we're back at the 1 chord. So, technically, this 2-5-1 is an inverted 1 chord with the E-flat at the top instead of the bottom. <clears throat> but when I say two five one, I'm doing it specifically in that order. Two second note, five the fifth note, and one the first note. Two five one. Okay. So the first chord we're learning is the one chord. The next chord, two five one with this added G. Next is the four chord. E flat, A flat, and C are the notes of the four chord, and I'm adding this G. I like to add my G's and also I'll do this quite often inverted where I'll play this E flat up here. I'll play this inversion. So this is a four chord as well. Either this or this. Okay. And then lastly the five chord is D, F, and B flat. This is technically a B flat major chord that is inverted. But I'm playing the inverted version D F B flat D okay now let me give you bass notes to go with those chords and this will even further help to make this uh, simplify the song when we do the one chord most of the time we're gonna play the one the first bass note um, that's in the scale which is E flat okay when we play the four chord actually the second one we learned was the two five one most cases, when I'm doing the 2-5-1, I'm going to be hitting the third note. So with the one bass note, we're going to do one chord. With the three, with the third note, we're going to do 2-5-1. Now let's go to the four chord. I'll do it inverted one time, either here or here. With the four chord, you can plot depending on what note the song calls for, the four chord can be played with the second note, the F, or the fourth note, G from A flat. The fourth note, thus the four chord. Okay, and then the fifth note, we play the five chord, D, F, B flat. You start to see the correlation a little bit. The fifth bass note is, the fifth note in the scale of the, is the B flat, it's the fifth note, five chord. The A flat is the fourth note of the scale, four chord. E flat is the first note of the scale, one chord. Okay? 
um, those are your major chords, fourth, the first, fourth, and fifth. Um, again, when we get to the second one, so you can play the four chord with the F, the third, two, five, one, fourth, of course, the four chord, and the fifth, five chord, D, F, B flat. Okay, let's get started with the song. You should make the song, if you can pause it here, get that, get these first three minutes locked into your brain. Um, then unpause it and move on. It'll make things help a lot faster. Okay, here we go. The song is starts out, I'll show you left hand first. E flat, I will sing. E flat, then F. I will sing, then G, then A flat. I will sing. Back to G. Okay, we'll just do that right now. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing. Okay. Now, those five bass notes I just showed you, I showed you what chords go with those bass notes. So let's put them together. One chord with the E flat. With the F, the four chord. E flat, G, A flat, C. I will sing. Two, five, one with the G. Another four chord with the fourth note. A flat. You starting to see the correlation now? I showed you these chords at the beginning. I will sing. One chord. Four chord over to F. I will sing. Two, five, one over G. Four chord over A flat. I will sing. Back to the two, five, one. Left hand went to G, the third. So we're going to go back to the 251, okay? Really simple once you break it down like that. The next chord, um, I will sing, uh, uh, I will sing. Left hand's going D, G, C. D, G, C. Left hand is going F major, F, uh, we'll do F major, F, A, C over the D, left hand goes to G, right hand just move the C down a half step to B, I will sing, left hand goes to C, right hand goes to D, F, G, B flat, and you can actually think of this as a one chord, remember the one chord, and just drop this E flat down a half step. Okay, don't no need to com complicate it anymore. You already know your one chord. Just drop that E flat down to D. And we're over C, okay? I will sing. Uh, or depending on what octave you do it in, we'll sing. Next, left hand goes to the third note, which is G. Remember what we do on the third? Two, five, one. Okay. I will sing. Then left hand after the, after the two five one, left hand goes to the fourth note. What do you think we do on the fourth note? Play the four chord. This is inverted, but this is the four chord. Okay. Go back to that same section. I will sing of your goodness. Three. Third note over two five one of your goodness. Four chord and your kindness. Three chords going back and forth. Uh, 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 uh. I will sing. Okay. Of your goodness. 